over to the NBA. Now, yesterday, we had all of our negative NBA stuff where uh, may, they may not have the rest of the season. They may just cancel. They may blah, 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 blah. Well, here's the deal. The price tag for them going down to Disney World. You sent me this this morning. $150 million. They are paying $1.5 million a day to have 22 teams blocked off from the rest of the world. And I think it's a deal. Like, maybe I'm crazy. But I, I, well, I mean, yeah, I think if they can get this thing off, finish the season in the playoffs, they'll make your, I mean, you said it best this morning, they'll make double that easy. Yeah. It, and they will. They'll make double that if, if they can, if they can make this thing work. They absolutely will. If, if they get the playoffs in, they will 100% do that. Um, they're playing eight regular season games and then the playoffs. Um, the NBA said, uh, the Orlando bubble costing the NBA more than $150 million. That's more than $1.5 million a day to put on, not to mention all the lost revenue they have from not being able to sell tickets. Here's the thing, though. Uh, even without tickets, everybody in the free world is going to be watching. Yeah, the, the advertising NBA. dollars are going to come just pounding in. Yes. ESPN and Turner are going to make fine off their deals. Yes. Uh, Adam Silver said this. He did an interview with Time on Tuesday. He said, it's not all that economical for us to play on this campus. It's enormously expensive. Obviously, we don't have fans. I should have mentioned earlier, so we're not selling tickets. But as I said, we almost see it as our duty to find a way that we can still provide the sport of basketball to our fans and the broader community. This is how we're going to do it. This is not a sustainable model over the long term, that's for sure, at least based on the way that we've conducted our sport historically. Uh, well, of course. You know, it, you, you, want your, <laughs> you want revenue from from ticket sources, from home games, from all that kind of stuff, of course you're going to go back to that model. But for right now, this works. Uh, Matt said Disney... This is not as profitable as that. No (laughs) one expects it to be as profitable. No, no, not at all. Matt said Disney just said uh, they bumped their ticket prices to $2,500 to make up for lost admission revenue. (laughs) And then Damien Uh, said... uh, Anybody who thought Disney was expensive to go to before, yeah. uh, yeah. I feel feel like... If I'd have done the math, I was wondering, are they getting off cheap? A $1.5 million a day? I need to know how many rooms. I know what I paid for my room. Let's do some math here. They, they might have got a group discount. Uh, I, I would, I'd be willing to bet. I'd be willing to bet. I mean, they rented out three of the best, uh, you know, condo, not condos, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. what, uh, resorts Con- that they yeah, have. Resorts, yeah. And then they've got the arenas and then all that. And, and then they're having to pay Disney for it's these people for, to stay yeah. in the bubble. Yeah. Like on oh, the food, the food and everything. I mean, Disney's providing all that. I mean, oh, that, yeah. that's all part of the deal. Damien said, I really don't see any sports happening if the second wave keeps spiking up rapidly like it has been doing. Well, here's the thing, Damien. The deaths are down. The hospitalizations are down. Like, we don't have the same ICU problems, all that kind of stuff that we had to begin Hospitalizations with. Hospitalizations are up, but people aren't being admitted and staying long term. So they're right. getting turned around the same day. Very few people are staying overnight in the hospital. That's a massive thing. That That's incredible. Yes. Yes. Look, yep. I don't know nothing about nothing when it comes to science and medical stuff, okay? Like I said, I'm not a doctor. Used to play one when I was little. This, <laughs> what they were, people were dying in droves. And now, four months later, you come in, you get a shot in the ass, and you go home. And it's not that we have the solution. We don't have the... No, God, no, no, no. I don't have the answers, and they don't have the answers. But at least what we're doing now to fight this thing is better than what we used to do. Yeah. I mean, we, we've it got... It is markedly more improved now than what it was yes. What it was in March. Well, so I mean, yes, it's the biggest large difference. Large of people are going to the hospital now. The biggest difference is not that there for 14 the days. older people, the elderly people, are not getting it as easily because everybody understands to stay away. Stay like, away from grandma. Yeah, yeah. Mom, mama, le- and papa all get to get to just have some peace for a little bit. Learn to use Skype. Learn to use FaceTime. That's that's what we're doing. So we've done it for a little while. Matt said there are three levels of money. You go to Disney every year. Uh, you go to Disney once. Or you've never been to Disney. So, I don't know where I fit in that. I've been to Disney four times. I don't, <laughs> I don't know where. So, I'm not at the point of every year, but I've been I've been a few times. So We've been three, but we've been three in three years. Uh, now, we are not going for the next two. That is a definite line in the sand. Yes. 
This past one was daddy cashed in and blew it all. And that was, <laughs> we went over and, the birthdays. We took them out of school. Yep. And now. And you were out for the Super Bowl. I, I missed the Super Bowl. Well, I caught the second yeah. half of the first quarter. Yeah. And then the rest of the game. I missed the open pageantry. I missed a lot of the first quarter. Yeah. Then I caught the rest of it. There you go. But, you, hey, you were in Disney, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Is what it is. Uh, Matt said it's people with other medical conditions that it took out. Everyone is on alert now. Yeah, 100%. Ben said, or there's the people that uh, just visit outside. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see the, that. The, the, the scary thing for COVID is people with pre-existing conditions that don't know they have a pre-existing condition. Right. Like, you could be walking around with some crazy autoimmune system, and you see a few, like, symptoms of it, but you don't know that they're a big deal. And you go to the doctor, and even the doctor treats those symptoms because they're like, ah, oh, no big deal. We'll fix this. We'll fix that. And they treat it. Excuse me. And and come to find out, you've got this crazy autoimmune issue, and you get COVID, and it could kill you now. Like, that's – there is there is a scary unknown to – a lot of us are walking around with weird shit going on in our bodies that we don't know about. Oh, yeah. And a lot of that's because not all of us are great about going to the doctor. I know I am and one of the worst. My wife is one of the worst. We just feel like I'm going to suck it up. I'm not going to the doctor. I don't need to go to the doctor. We'll get to like, let me treat this. You know what? I've got inflammation here or I'm hurting here and fix this, fix that. And let's move on. Um, and I never actually go get checked out unless I'm the same. It, it's a point in, I think it's those types of people that might have something underlying and we just don't know it. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Uh, Just to to stay off. Well, we're going to get off topic momentarily. Did you see what I shared out on Twitter earlier? Uh, No. Uh, The flu virus with pandemic potential is found in China. So it's a new strain of the flu that has the potential to become a pandemic that was identified in China by scientists. It's carried by pigs. Oh, it it's a new H one N one. Yeah, it's. it's I didn't a, hear. I didn't see you share it out, but I have. I have seen Doctor Drew talked about it today on Adam Carolla's show. I listened to that. Yeah, it's and H one N one PDM zero nine. These bastards have to stop breeding. Like doing, I don't know what they're doing to animals to make animals put shit in the world. We yeah. gotta stop it. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know how to fix that. V, make it, maybe veganism's the answer. And I'll just cry myself to sleep every night. And life won't be worth living. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> so, the NBA spending a ton of money. Hopefully, we will get a good product. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get a product, period. I mean, we'll see. Um, ben said, uh, ah, hold on, hold on. We got a bunch more. Matt said, the government's giving us vaccines via the masks. Good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> ben said, when you finally... Uh, ben said, when you finally go... Uh, you find out you have stage four cancer. That's what's scary to me. Uh, Damien said, if people are on alert, why the hell are there still people walking around outside like it's normal without the damn masks? Is uh, If everyone is alerted now, shouldn't we all be wearing masks instead of walking around like idiots? Look, there are people that will forever be idiots, and there's nothing you can do about it. It just is what it is. I know when I go somewhere, whether it, if I'm going through a drive through line, I've got my mask on, and people can laugh at me all they want to, but if so I'm I interacting, I don't, in, I don't wear it in the car. Okay, I'm not doing. No, no, no. I, I don't wear it in my car unless I am interacting with somebody. So, and that's it. Like if I interact with somebody, I got a mask on. Real simple, right? And and I'm not around anybody else, so I yeah. probably ain't got it. But you really don't see anybody else. I'm out in the ethos. I see lots of people every day. Yeah, and it's. But, it, I will say this: like, I go to grocery stores, I go to the gas station, something like that. It, there's a lot of people. Just stop wearing where, masks. Where we where we live, you you're very much right. Is is very much not a mask community. It's uh it's ridiculous. So, um, I know that there are a lot of places like Pennsylvania today announced that uh, everywhere that you go in public in the state, you have to have a mask on, or you will face a fine. You will face punishment of some sort. Uh, we'll see what happens. I I think now they did that ordinance in Memphis as well. I about to say so. We'll it's, see. It's here. It's not an olive branch. It's not an olive branch where we are, but uh, but yeah. Uh, Matt said humans and pigs have very similar immune systems. Pigs pick up a flu strain from other animals, then it mutates to pass to humans. Yeah, this is scary. I don't like this, Matt. Oh, I love pork. 
Yeah, I love yeah, I love pork, but I, I don't I don't like uh, flu pork. I'm I'm out on pig flu, no. whatever. No, I don't <laughs> All right, let's jump back.